Okay, in this video we're going to go over some new tech called floor clipping and how it's applied on the crates level to save about 50 seconds in a speed run or to skip the level in a casual playthrough. So, I'll play the skip in full and then we'll go over exactly how it's done. There we go. Now we're under that floor and then the end of the level is just to the left. Normally in this level you'd have to go all the way to the right, then down and then left again. This skips all of that. So I'll break down what exactly is happening in this skip. Uh, first of all, the player does a full jump off here. Now this is actually quite convenient because normally you need a 13 frame jump, which is different to a full frame uh, to a full jump. You can see if I do a 13 frame jump that won't work. The reason we're able to do a full jump here is because we're jumping from a higher ledge and that's what makes this possible. Uh, I guess what makes it possible to do in RTA. So we're just going to hold B for the whole time. You can let go at the peak if you jump. And you can also let go of right if you want. You can keep holding right, it won't make a difference. Then to actually clip through the floor, you need to press left and then right just before you hit the floor. So the player turns and then turns again. By having those turn frames in the floor, um, the player then falls through it. Now, um, that's essentially what's going on here. And I'll go over a technique that we can use to get this in RTA without having task precision. So you can just do it by left and right, but that is quite difficult. I'll go over what this looks like in maybe a potential speed run. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to walk to the right and jump off with a full height jump and then I won't do it in this bit but we're trying to pause on this frame so the reference that I use is the foot there is uh, just above the little line of that thing and it's just under the gray bit maybe the top of the foot is lined up with the gray bit however you want to look at it so if we pause on here we should be able to go left and then right and then clip through the floor uh, this might take me a few shots but we should be able to get it so I'm going to do a full jump over here, pause, that was too early, so I'm not going to get that. Pause, that was too late, so we won't get that. Pause, once again, a bit too late. And that's the perfect frame. From here, you're paused. Um, we haven't done the left press yet. So when you unpause, you need to press left and then right really quickly. So I'll be holding left, and then as soon as I unpause, I'm going to flick over to the right. Um, and that's going to do the left and right input. This may work, it may not, we'll see. And it did. So the input there was you press pause while holding left, and then immediately after you press pause, the next frame you need to be pressing right. From there, we can just go through and end the level. So I'll try and do that again in full. That pause was too early. That pause was too late. Uh, that was way too early. And that was just right. So then you press hold left, unpause, and then press right as soon as you unpause and we're through the floor. So you can see it's fairly consistent, and if you fall off, you should, in theory, be able to jump up here again. Uh, you can jump up like that, and you should, in theory, be able to do it again. Sometimes I've found that um, the sub-pixels don't quite work out, but generally it's okay. So yeah, have a play around with that, and from my experience, it's fairly consistent. There's also one more that I can show off, which will save a little bit of time. And this is just to skip killing these three monkey things here. So uh, again, pretty much the exact same setup. The frame is one later than that frame. That's one frame too late. Again, one frame too late. One frame too late. One frame too late. There we go, and we're through. Uh, so this will be good for a 100% speedrun because it will get you closer to the terminal. But really the main goal of this would be to get to the right here without having to kill the monkeys, which would be really fantastic. Because otherwise you have to go through these monkeys and it's really slow. So that's floor clipping. Those are the two applications that I found so far. I'm sure there'll be plenty more. And uh, yeah, that's how to do it. So keep in mind, if you want it to be possible RTA, you do need to be jumping off of a higher ledge of quite a specific height above the ledge. Um, if you want to do it on flat ground, it is possible. 
Um, but the issue with doing it on flat ground is you need to hold jump for exactly 13 frames, which is going to be really hard to time RTA.